my new series. This is called, are you ready for it? Deep Condition and Chill. I absolutely love this new series. I already filmed a few episodes and I'm so hyped, you guys. I'm trying to be organized for you guys so I can continue to bring you guys great content and useful content, not just show off content, okay? And this series is dedicated to natural hair exclusively and I'm just so excited. Deep conditioning is very, very important. There are so many styling tutorials out here and, you know, styling is important, but styling can be a bit damaging. And for me personally, I just wear twist outs all the time. Um, so I had to think of another way I can bring you guys content and more so knowledge as well now listen i say knowledge lightly because i'm not the type of person who takes things too seriously but i do like to know the basics of everything just like my back to the basic series speaking of that i may do a second version of that now that i know a little bit more about my hair um, but anyway, this series is all about deep conditioning, and I really hope that you guys come back here, <sighs> I want to say weekly. We should be deep conditioning our hair weekly. I really don't think that I'll be able to have content each week as far as this series goes, because I want to do it on each series. Um, I want to work on each series weekly. Um, so I would say every two weeks. Or you can re-watch the episode. But I really want you guys to like really hang out with me and let's deep condition our hair, okay? <laughs> the first deep conditioner we are going to be using is... We have Cream of Nature's new Pure Honey Collection. And this is their Moisture Replenish and Strength Hair Mask. It's, it has pure honey, a rich coconut oil, creamy shea butter, no sulfates, no mineral oil. Of course, the main ingredient is honey. Now, before we get into actually using this product, I do want to talk about the honey. Again, we are not getting too deep into this. This is just the basics. We all need to know the basics of these ingredients. Honey is a humectant, and that basically helps regulate and retain moisture, which is important, especially with a deep conditioner. Honey is also known to strengthen your hair follicles, which means that helps you grow your hair. So those are the things that are most important. We want moisture and we want growth, right? So that is why this ingredient is so important and especially in a hair product. Um, and of course, honey has a lot of vitamins and nutrients, so that's also really good for our hair. Now, of course, we are going to be using this product, and you may have other products that have honey in it, but we can also take it a step further. We don't have to just use products that have honey in it. We can also, you know, intake some honey, okay? Whether you're drinking your green tea in the morning, um, if you have yogurt, whatever you're eating, it's always good to include such an ingredient because then, you know, all those vitamins and nutrients are not being placed on top of your hair, but it's also in your body. And eventually those vitamins and nutrients will go to your hair. So just keep that in mind. Um, pretty much everything that we can use on our hair as far as like the natural ingredients, we can also ingest it to help our healthy hair journeys you know what I mean so yeah but anyway I just wanted to talk about that very quickly again just to recap we are using the cream of nature's hair mask and it's from their pure honey collection so enough talking about the product let's see this product in action and I basically want to show you you know the consistency of the product how it applies how what it does to my hair um, and you know, I may style my hair. Yeah, I may style my hair really quick. Um, of course, it's just going to be a twist out or something. But I do want you guys to really get a feel for this product. I know this is a good product. And I cannot wait to try it with you guys. And hopefully you guys um, try it with me. Even if you don't get to try it with me today, replay this and let's deep condition and chill. Okay. 
<laughs> deep condition and chill you heard it first and i started the hashtag on instagram so definitely know you heard it first i created this deep condition and, and I'm gonna have t-shirts too so stay tuned this is the current state of my hair which isn't too bad I had it twisted underneath of my wigs so of course when your hair is protected it retains moisture more so it doesn't look that bad but it definitely needed some added moisture and look y'all I can still wear my hair in a puff I literally wear the same style anyway i'm gonna go wash my hair since we are focusing on cream of nature's new pure honey collection even though we're deep conditioning of course you have to deep condition on freshly washed hair so i'm going to also use their shampoo in the comments let me know do you shampoo your hair in sections i also think it's funny how people say only put a dime size of the shampoo and only rub it at your scalp and your roots so let me know in the comments do you focus just on your scalp and root area or do you just wash your freaking hair <laughs> Are you guys still with me? I hope so. Um, we finally are about to dig into this deep conditioner. And look at the consistency. It's so creamy, but it's not too thick where it's just like hard to even apply to your head. And I want to show you the, this small section here because this part of my hair all the way across it's about two inches back and all the way across ear to ear it gives me so many tr um, problems but i noticed with this conditioner i could tell that it was just adding that moisture back into that area now the rest of my hair is pretty much the same um texture and the deep conditioner immediately just made my curls pop I could feel the moisture just being added to my hair and I totally wish this was a styler because it had my hair popping you guys just popping um, and I haven't had this in that long and I was able to go ahead and detangle I did a lot of finger detangling. And once my hair was detangled, I went section by section and twisted my hair. I think doing twists when you deep condition, it helps retain that moisture. It keeps your hair wet so, you know, the product doesn't dry up in your hair. I don't know. I just like, you know, twisting and then adding the cap. Also, it stops your hair from getting tangled back up because, of course, our hair curls and then it wants to, like, tangle up with each other. So, the twists just help out a lot. But, anyway, I'm going to be quiet now, finish detangling, and then we're going to have a little chit-chat because we have to do the chill part of this series, right? <laughs> So now that we have our deep conditioner in, I figured this is our time to chill. So what we're gonna do on our chill time is talk. And hopefully my robe is looking okay. Because girl, I have makeup on, I washed my hair, and it is literally makeup all over this towel, like oh, Oh my god, hopefully you guys can't see it. Today's topic is going to be relationships, okay? Like, um, our intimate relationships. And boy, do I have some advice for you. Advice is to make your relationship last, but also to keep your sanity if it doesn't last, if that makes sense. Advice number one. Never lose yourself in a relationship. To attract your mate, your husband, fiance, boyfriend, whoever, he was attracted to you, like how you were when you guys met. You start to focus more on the relationship and you want it to last forever, you don't want it to end. But when you do that, you kind of lose the focus on you. Like you have to constantly work on you and be the best you 
and when you do that your relationship pretty much will last you know what I mean so for me I stay in the house more because I feel like that's the thing I'm supposed to do like I'm in a relationship it's all about him in the relationship so I stay in unless we're doing something together and that is a sign that you're losing yourself like you still need to go out with your girlfriend you still need to have like your self-care routine where you get to do things that you want to do alone and let him miss you like go to the movies by yourself go get your nails done your toes done go to the mall go have lunch meet a girlfriend do all of those things that are just about you because you know you think that you wanting to be with him all the time being home with him all the time even if he gives you the impression that's what he wants it's not what he wants because if you make yourself too available and all about him in a relationship there has to be that that newness you have to keep that newness in the relationship and the only way to keep the newness is let him miss you okay but respectfully don't be running these streets and making him think like you're cheating on him you know just make him just make sure he remembers why he fell in love with you why was he attracted to you in the beginning you know so I hope you guys understand but definitely for relationship longevity you cannot lose yourself you have to take care of you first and everything else will fall into place and that goes for your intimate relationships your friendships any type of relationship you can't lose yourself even business wise like I can take this advice as far as my work like seriously can y'all see this makeup all over my towel I hope not <laughs> Okay, advice number two. Devin and I had to talk about this recently because Devin and I, we've been together for so long and our relationship is crazy as you guys already know. I'm not married yet. Listen, and we're not married yet because we don't want to rush it. And I know most people are like, girl, y'all been together for what, 10, 11 years and you're not married yet? To me, I still don't want to rush it. I want to make sure we are doing the right thing before we do this legally, you know? Um, but relationships are hard. In a relationship, especially if you've been together for a really long time, you get super comfortable, like I said before, to the point where it's like you guys know each other so well that you almost just don't care about the little things that you used to care about. The way I explained it to Devin is we need to treat each other like strangers. For example, when you go out shopping with your girlfriends, right, you want to get dolled up. Even if you don't get extremely dolled up, you look presentable, right? And you don't do that 100% just for you. You don't do it 100% just for your girlfriends. You do it because you want to show the world who you are you want to look presentable because you're going out in public and you want to look presentable right that's the same way you have to be in your relationship if you like lock eyes with someone in public you're what are you going to do you're going to smile right hopefully you smile but you're nice about it right unless you're just totally just a mean person which is nothing wrong with that either own your meanness girl um, but most of the times you you're gonna be you're gonna be pleasant right and you're gonna be respectful to have whoever that stranger is This is Devin Hello Hey, babe What's up? I'm still I'll start it in a second. I'm filming All right, I'll start it though Bye. Those little things, remember those because those are the things that you should be doing with your significant other. And I think that we get so comfortable living together, always around each other that those get forgotten. You know what I mean? Bottom line is I think that treating each other like strangers will help your relationship tremendously. It may seem so like small, but trust me, it's so important. Do not forget about the little things. And I'm not talking about the little things that you would think of in a relationship, like make sure that you kiss each other every day, that you hug each other, you touch each other. Like, yeah, those are the given. But to me, I feel like these stranger things, ooh, I like that. <laughs>
<laughs> I love that. Yeah, so these stranger things you cannot forget. The small little things that you think don't matter, they do. So don't forget those. If you've been in a relationship for a really long time, do you think that you forgot these things? Like, did you lose yourself in the relationship where you're just focused on a relationship and not necessarily yourself? And do you understand how important that is to even make your relationship last is focusing on you. And that's something that we as women, we forget because we want to take care of everybody else and everything else that we forget about us. And that is the most important. If we take care of ourselves, it will, it will fix pretty much everything in life. Like it's like coconut oil. <laughs> I don't know. I think that's enough anyway. But I did have a third one. I'm mad. I'm, I'm probably going to forget. But those are two great ones, don't you think? But anyway, I think it's time for me to take my hair down. I'm going to go rinse this out. That is the end of this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to engage in conversation in the comment section. And your deep conditioning should be done by now. This video is a total of 16 minutes long. Go rinse out that deep conditioner. And I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye. Mwah.